Dartmoor, December 2020. The first snow falls. A mysterious monolith is discovered. Have I missed the bloody lot? Anyway, I'm here now. It's going to be wet. It's going to be windy. It's going to be a summer or nothing winter wild camp. Trevor here, some of us back out onto Dartmoor for the first winter wild camp this side of the uh, second UK lockdown. But uh, I'm here up on the North Moor. Today I thought I'd camp up on East Moor. I've never really camped there before, visited it a couple of times now. So that's where we're going now. But this is a beautiful area. Bellstone Tours. Oaky Tour, Steeperton Tour. Helicopter over there, hopping the Steeperton Tour. Don't know what he's doing. Oh, now the sun gone in behind the clouds. It did not look like winter. Lovely golden colours a minute ago with the sun. Just been zapped right out of this landscape. Bleak. Tent set up. It was a bit more fiddly than the cloud up. But boy, hasn't the wind come in? Let's go. Well, we're in the tent. It's a little bit flappy, to be honest. But I might need to go out and pull the corners a bit tighter. But we are exposed here. <laughs> Didn't that wind come in? As soon as I started putting the tent up, boy, that wind picked up. So yeah, I'm going to be sat here all night now, praying that this uh, tent holds up. Yeah, I didn't expect that to turn quite like that. I'm going to have to check the weather because that wasn't forecast to do that at that point. So this could be a really, really shit night. Um, what else did I know? I was going to say. Oh yeah, I've picked so that the doors are sort of facing away from the wind. So if you see these bits here, you can call these wings I suppose. And you want the wings sort of around with the wind coming behind. So we're shielded by like this, this section here from the wind. And that was my idea. So there is sort of a front and a back to this tent. Jeebus. This is shit. 
Now there is a fair lot of mesh in this tent so it might be a little bit cold but I think pretty sure that my cloud up is just about the same so for this time of year I've been out in mine the cloud up lots of times and it's been fine but it probably is only a free season tent so I'm hoping all my other gear will keep me warm enough tonight the ground here is nice and uneven so I can use my Trekology UL80 it's supposed to like lose out all the bumps great I'll use that and see if that makes a, for a comfortable night's sleep just on me firm arrest at the moment just to keep the heat from escaping through the ground I'm outside looking at the tent and I'm wondering if I shouldn't have uh, sort of positioned the thinner side with the nature hike lettering on there sort of where this wider side is because uh, that wider side is just getting hit by the wind so there's my new little stove Lixada tiny little thing screw that on my gas canister let's have hot drinks fairly level yet yeah. get me mug all me coffees got a new titanium spork sea to summit for eating my dinner later do you know what I fancy a minestrone soup I might have a minestrone soup now it's liquid food so I'll keep them all handy in my little that's from my tight my case for my titanium Lixarda titanium mug you might think why are you bringing two mugs but um, I like the consistency of a coffee to be that size if it's too watery I don't enjoy it might call me weird but that's how I am so anyway I'll put water in this mug tip it into that mug and that way you're not boiling more water than you need to it doesn't take as long So while I'm waiting for the uh, thing to boil, uh, just a couple more shout outs. Uh, you might have seen my video the other week where I gave a lot of you guys uh, with smaller channels the opportunity to shout out. Some really good channels and I really enjoyed sort of knocking that all together, it's great fun. I don't always have the time to watch and comment on people's videos which is half the reason I've done that. So I shouted out a few people at the beginning of that video and sure enough there was people I should have shouted out who comment on my videos all the time one of them was Dave McCartney or uh, everybody knows a Dave and he's an English bloke living in Michigan USA sharing his hike hiking backpacking and fishing adventures and he actually gave me a heads up about the Lantern 2 offer when that was coming up and the great thing was actually that we've now managed to get Nafe his own lantern tent courtesy of Dave for pointing it out that it was coming and also the patrons for supporting the channel and I was able to with sort of money that we'd raised through that I was able to buy Nafe a tent and also this tent here actually which is a tent that I'd always wanted so massive shout out to all the patrons you do deserve a shout out you have been absolutely brilliant oh and my kettle's boiled oh and uh, yeah two other channels dave outdoors and a shropshire lad thank you for messaging me last week and um yeah featuring me in your video and i didn't even have to go out into those sub minus temperatures that you was in and uh, yeah I was really jealous to see everyone out in the snow last week Wild Astro as well another great video up in the snow reviews of Triffin up in Snowdonia yeah really uh, really jealous of his video that looked like quite an experience but you know I might have missed the snow might have missed the monoliths but I'm here in the wind and rain and that's that's all you lot really want to see me in isn't it So, as I said, I've got me uh, Firmaris Ridress and now I've got me Trekology 
UL80 inflatable roll mat. This is more like a mattress than a roll mat. There's silicon on one side of this. You can see just there. Last time I blew it up with my lung air. This time I got this. It's a Robens. It's an air sack, basically. Which I'm, well, I'll use that as a uh, water resistant luggage pack. <laughs> That's not what you called them. Dry sack. <laughs> So if I uh, just tuck all my clothes out of it a minute, it's a bit cramped doing it in here, isn't it? Let's see how this goes. So I'll open it up, find the hole, find the attachment from there, and then stick that in there. Now, let's see how long this takes from there. See that? Good amount of air in there. And you just squeeze it through into the air mat. No doubt we're going to have to do this several times. Not quite so much air that time. We'll come back to this in a minute. You don't want to watch the whole thing. It's boring, isn't it? But I was just showing you what I've got. And now, can you see? Here it is. A nice, comfy bed to sleep on. Whether it's prevents the heat from getting sucked out of me from underneath the ground but I mean even that firmer rest just being sat on that makes a hell of a difference so this will be comfort the firmer rest will be the insulation that's the idea I've made myself well and truly at home now i.e. the place is a f***ing tip temperature's dropped I'm in my sleeping bag I haven't got all my layers on yet want to save some um, looking at the weather on the Met Office now high willies which is just sort of over there is giving 60 mile an hour winds and I'm like for f sake it wasn't saying that earlier and it's all changed um, so yeah sort of coming in midnight Rautor it doesn't give half as sort of bad winds so I'm sort of in between Rautor and high willies uh, there's no Met Office uh, reading for East Mill Tour. So, who knows what it's going to be like here. But I think it's going to get, it's going to get shit. Nath was supposed to be out with me tonight. But, um, poor old Mobes. He's got a lump on him and he's had that removed. He's got some stitches. He's got a cone on his head. Nathan didn't really want to leave him with uh, Don and the kids this this time. So watch this space, I suppose. Fingers crossed. We'll get out before Christmas. If not, this might be my Christmas one. If I have an horrendous camp, <laughs> I might not want to come out again. Right, I'm outside. I think it's got wetter, foggier. Well, I am here, look. Just that one patch there. Yeah. Just seems to have appeared. Hmm. Hopefully, it's sinking to the floor tonight. It hasn't even started raining yet. <laughs> well, the joys of camping. It's absolutely freezing. It is proper cold. But it's really still. Deathly still. Which is ominous. <laughs> It reminds me of that time I went out with Tom off the beaten pot. We sat out in the evening. It was a really calm, nice evening. And then uh, that night, jeebus, was we uh, struck with some wind. Another thing I've noticed, you know, I said I put all the silicon on this mat. Probably should have put it on the other one because it's, just, it's sort of like a nylon-y sort of fab material. And uh, now I've just got hundreds of bits of silicon floating around <laughs> in the tent. It all come off. Also, I'd set up my sleeping bag, as I said. But the zip could be a bit more substantial. It's come away at the bottom. It's sort of opened up a couple of times. So I've had to go all the way down with both zips. Leave one down and then bring it back up to get rid of that. Sort of where it's separating. And also, it's really close material to the zip and it catches quite a lot it's quite frustrating so it's dinner time i've just got an adventure meal tonight 
going back to the weather, I'm a bit anxious because I'm out on my own. A bit exposed. It's a south wind. So when I checked earlier, it's southwesterly coming in, and uh, I'd sort of accounted for the westerly winds and southwesterly winds, which would completely shelter me with these rocks. But south is sort of the open side. All we can hope is that it will change through the night and I'm gonna be fine. Although you lot are hoping. Otherwise, wait for a good video. Well, here I am, still in the tent. The sort of temperature's settled, I'm not cold anymore. I ate my meal and uh, that warmed me right through, so that was nice. And then I sort of dozy and watching a film. Time to sort of try and sleep before, hopefully, not before anything, but before this uh, wind is forecast to come in. I will keep you up to date. I haven't got a Dartmoor legend or nothing tonight. Just one man in a tent. All right. It started. It was pretty sudden as well. I've dozed. I was having quite a nice sleep. And then uh, it was nice and warm in here. Now there's like a cold wind. Obviously we've got that big hole at the top and then the whole top layer is mesh. So since the wind started it sort of sucked a bit of the temperature out of in here. The, the wind's gonna due to pick up so see how it fares. shaking me about but at the moment the tent seems to be quite rigid the pegs seem to be holding and the rain's eased off now as well I've been sleeping surprisingly well considering <sighs> top of our fat and all I can think is it's going to be a nightmare to try and pack up my tent in the morning. We're about losing it. Anyway, back to sleep. It's half past three in the morning. <coughs> well, it's the morning. Sleep I did. Right through. Quarter to eight. I was snug. I'm stiff though. Oh, my shoulder. My back. My knees have locked. Good job I ain't got a long walk home. Well, we got hammered through the night. This uh, tent took a beating, but it stayed sort of where it was. It's still taking a beating now. No water's come in, but that wind. I don't know quite how I'm going to take the thing down. We'll just see if there's like a break in the weather, in the wind. If not, I'm going to have to just uh, grin and bear it. But no, nope, lost my internet again. Still strong winds at the moment. Right. Well, I said about um, this big door opens up, I open up like that. This area here is a big space where I'm about to do my cooking. But then I've got this door here, which undoes, but it just flaps. So it'd be nice if yeah, that undone, but then went somewhere rather than just hanging there. Well, if anything, this is the best opportunity to get out. <laughs> it says 38 mile an hour winds now, and it's it's going to go up to 48 mile an hour over the next sort of hour or two. So, have me breakfast bar, and then we'll get out of Dodge. I'm not quite sure how I'm doing it. 
Hello. <laughs> it's, it's Trevor in the hole. Look, f***ing door snagged. Down here. See this? It's a bit irritating, isn't it? Let me get that. Ow. Right, damage. tent come down all right in the end. Um, I was hoping that I could just sort of collapse the poles down and then slide them back through the clips but I ended up having to undo the clip. I also was hoping that I'd be able to roll it all up with the rooftop in place but that flew away I didn't even notice. I just looked across to the rocks and there was the the roof stuck to the side of the rock being blown to the rock. So good job it hit that rock because it would have just gone. I wouldn't have even known. I couldn't really roll it up because the wind was blowing it so much so it was just sort of shoved in roughly. The times like that you think a, a Van Gogh bag would be better. You could shove it in the side rather than in the tube end, you know. Um, but yeah, 10 minutes took me to wrap that up and that was in the wind and the rain. But yeah, not a bad tent. Quite enjoyed that. Good night out on the moors. Well, oh, Christmas soon, so. See if me and Nate will get out for camp over Christmas. Anyway, you guys take it easy and I'll see you all soon. Cheese.